So last time we started uh, with a simple Java program and some examples of uh, method, right? Yes. Okay. Today we will see <coughs> some more thing uh, like uh, we will see constructor. And after that method, we have already I mean had some examples. And we will see method overloading and over riding. We will see constructor, method overloading, and method overriding. So these three concepts we will see today. These are very simple. <coughs> so this is our last program. Correct. So this is a example of method, method name, a return type and inputs are arguments correct correct okay let me create another simple project i am going to create one more java project right click new java project so i'm giving our project name as a constructor demo c o n s t underscore demo finish it so this is a simple java project under src we have to write our files correct correct so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a class called right click class class name is constructor demo mm -hmm. so this is my class so every time what we are doing we are writing right public static void main correct correct so if you don't want to write eclipse we are using right eclipse will provide some features so give the class name and if you see here right public static void main if you select the checkbox and click on finish so it will generate public static void main so you correct. don't need to write Mm -hmm. So th this you can remember. So next time onwards, you no need to write. And now we are creating the class. Just select the checkbox, and it will generate the public static void main. Correct. Correct. Okay. Now let me create one sample project. Sample method. Method. I'm going to return integer. Integer. Add. And uh, I want to add two numbers integer x comma integer y so what i want to do i want to create another variable integer z equal to x plus y and finally i want to return this integer value correct this is a sample of example of method right correct so how to access this method i have to create object correct yeah. Yes, you have to create an object. So to create a method, I have to create a class name. Mm -hmm. Class name, space. Some name, correct? And Constructor demo equal to new class name and open bracket, close bracket. This is a way of creating an object, correct? Correct. How to access your members of uh, this class? C, C dot add see see dot add correct and I, I want to pass 10 two numbers as a input correct 10 and 20 correct and it will return integer value integer sum correct mm -hmm. after that what I want to do I want to display the sum right okay if i run this one what we will get output is gonna add up to the add up yes. the numbers it will add up the numbers and it will give back the results yeah. 
this is correct right some right okay now if you see that i will add some more thing if you see this class right mm -hmm. this is a public and did you see any return type here no. void or integer or string or anything no no correct and this is a class name okay here i want to write something so n s t r u c t o r constructor okay public and there is no written type and method name is same as uh, so, i mean the class name class name correct now let me run it what will happen what are the output we will get did you see that constructor is displaying but we are not calling this this thing right correct we are not calling but it is executing correct correct so when it will execute <clears throat> so this one we used to call as a constructor it is not a method so for method should have always some written type correct whether void or some data type but correct. whereas constructor should doesn't have any written type okay. so it will be called whenever you are creating an object so you are creating an object for this class right correct so whenever you are creating line number 7 due to line number 7 it is executing and it is giving the results it is giving it is printing some statements okay so this is called constructor okay. so if you if you change the if you change the public uh, constructor demo to mm -hmm. less uh, for example if you put s next to it right yes so it will not execute correct this is a method right 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 okay so then it will become yeah now i was thinking is it because of the I was running because of the class name as the public no 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 okay so even if you if you if you add yes right then it will become method correct 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 method mm -hmm. should have written type correct so it is expecting it is, then because of yes it became method and it is expecting written type mm -hmm. if you give the name as same as class name then it will consider this is as a constructor and it does not require any written type correct so constructor don't have any written type no return type correct and uh, same name of class name correct and another thing is <coughs> it will execute at object creation time correct correct so these are the basic uh, rules of a constructor it doesn't have any written type it say it names i mean the same as a class name and it will execute at object creation time mm -hmm. correct mm -hmm. so yes. this is called as a constructor and did you see any arguments here nope no if there is no arguments then we is to called as a default constructor okay then i will we'll see little bit more default constructor okay what i want to do now i want to create one more constructor with arguments how to create one more constructor so here you can write integer x so this is also constructor right this is also don't have any written type and same name as a class name correct mm -hmm. and the difference between these two is this is a no argument constructor and this is a argument constructor correct correct okay now let me run again back and let me add here integer just for our understanding purpose this is no arguments and this is one argument constructor now let me run again did you see this is executed now or which one is executed which constructor is executed now um the second one 
two of them is the last one did not execute it yes means default constructor is executed and argument constructor is not executed correct correct so how to when this will be executed correct this is a second question now go back this is your constructor I mean object creation right mm -hmm. this is the way you will create object correct correct okay now what I want to do I want to create one more constructor called CE2 and here I will give input okay. as a 10 okay so this is a constructor and I'm giving some argument uh, type as an integer correct correct so then whenever you see customer demo some argument right it will look for that data type constructor this is the integer right mm -hmm. then it will look for the constructor which is having an argument of integer then it will execute you got it mm -hmm. yes. you got it right mm -hmm. okay now if you run it but it's not gonna print Yes, if you want to print that one, you have to add here okay. value x. Okay. So, what is the first line of your uh, main method? You are creating a arg I mean object, correct? Correct. You are you are creating an object, but with no arguments, correct? Here, you are not passing anything. Right now, it's gonna execute. Okay. Yes. No. If you are not passing anything, then it will execute default constructor. Correct. If you are creating an object with some inputs, then it will look for that kind of constructor. Correct. Uh, as part of line number eight, it will execute. You know, the constructor will be called whenever you are creating an object. You know, need to call explicitly. See, method will be executed whenever you are calling object dot. Correct. Correct. So that is the basic difference between method and constructor mm -hmm. right now if I ran it right now I can able to see the values right so mm -hmm. then why we need constructor that is why well, another question constructor will be used <coughs> to initialize the value See in this case, I am initializing the value, right? X, X value. I am trying to initialize by using a constructor, correct? Correct. Like that, you can create n number of n number of different constructor. Now, what I want to do? I want to create one more constructor with string as an input. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this is a different constructor and input is different correct correct so if you want to initialize this if you want to initialize this x what you have to do how to initialize that value you have to create constructor object you have to create an object with input type as a string correct correct what is the third constructor argument the third construct give me a second that's the third constructor right since we put the string so it will read the character so it is expecting yeah we should be putting the string right yes a b c so then whenever you are so this is a default constructor this is a integer constructor this is a hmm. string constructor so whenever you are giving string as an input then it will look for the constructor which is having string as an input correct okay now let me run it now you see that first default constructor is executed next integer constructor is executed after that a string constructor is executed and finally your method is executed correct Mm -hmm. so this is an example of constructor and this is the advantage in and feature of features of constructor constructor okay. doesn't have any return type and the name as same as class name and it will execute when you are creating an object and for every class should have default constructor and it is mainly used to initialize the value correct
correct <coughs> now constructor you got some idea right what is constructor and what is the use what is the difference between constructor and uh, so it's pretty much whatever even the if, if i'm is, is in the string within a method i have to mention that and then i have to call that is a main uh, main method correct yes yeah, so after that it will execute but everything i have to mention that in a method yes okay, okay. if and uh, one more point now if you see that constructor and arguments constructor one argument and different arguments so this concept we used to call as a constructor overloading hmm. okay overloading next concept is overloading okay so when you say the overloading because of the yes. i'm using the same constructor over and over right yes same name but different Is arguments different, different argument or the different value yes different argument or different value this concept we used to call as a overloading same name same same name right correct but arguments are different this concept we used to call as a overloading same name and different arguments this concept we used to call as a overloading so overloading between constructor correct this is a constructor right yes so this but we used to call a different name but it's just a different value correct has, but uh, but within a whenever i'm initializing the object but it's calling the same object but the different uh, depending on the construct or the string or the character correct based okay. on your input based on your input the corresponding constructor will be executed correct correct this this concept we used to call as a, a constructor overloading okay yes the, this is this point is clear right overloading correct okay now go back to our okay. old okay. yes yeah. yeah tell me no 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 I, i was saying it i hope not i forget again that's what i was saying <laughs> you forget I, No, no, no. Uh, I was saying it. Uh, I hope not. I forgot after the class. Oh, okay, okay. Now yes. we will go back to our method. This is our method, right? Right. Okay. Right now we are adding only two numbers, correct? Correct. Two numbers. I want to create another method which will add three numbers. Int x y. Int p and i want to return finally the return value so did you see there what is this difference between these two methods there is a difference just a, a addition and integer that is correct added. but method name is same return type is same correct correct and let me create let me create one more method here instead of integer i want to take string i want to take string i want to take string did you see there what is the method name add add all the method name is same mm -hmm. uh, inputs are different correct method name is same inputs are different correct so this is also called as a method overloading this is not a constructor this is a method right mm -hmm. so same method name but different arguments value and different argument yes this is called method overloading just for your understanding make it integer and make it int make it int you see now we will see now we will compare this method so for all these three <coughs> having similar features sir same method name same return type correct correct add is the method name and integer is the return type correct 
correct correct and the difference is only arguments this is two argument method and this is three arguments and this is four arguments right correct so this concept we used to called as a method overloading yes the previous one is constructor overloading and uh, <coughs> This one is method overloading, constructor overloading, and the second one is method overloading. Correct? Okay. So <coughs> method overloading means same method name, same written type, and different arguments. Okay. This is clear, right? Correct. So constructor overloading means same class name. Different arguments, same class name, different arguments, same class name, different arguments. Method overloading means same method name, same written type, different arguments, different arguments, different arguments. Correct. So these two is clear, right? Overloading between. Uh, yeah. Okay, just a quick question. Mm -hmm. Since I used this public constructor, constructor demo, just like a class name. Mm -hmm. So if I use a different name, right? Mm -hmm. like, let's say A instead of public a and then i have the different value on that and i have public a integer x and then the value right we are printing it out so is this also called this um, method overloading you mean public int uh, int you are telling uh no actually i was um constructor right public constructor demo right we have it at this moment right yes so, yes instead of demo let's put it as that name as a a right so i'm not putting as a class name but i'm putting it as a a so same with within the same name right mm -hmm. i'm having a multiple but different argument okay you don't want to put class name you want to give some different name correct right. absolutely then it will become a method uh so it will consider to be a method yes then it will expect return type uh okay so it, uh, okay since even i'm using the same oh okay 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 i see so it's just the same concept okay yes uh, now it is see if you see that right, right, right. type of the following method is missing now it is telling this is as a method right right, right. got it because so, um, constructor is just because of i'm using the class name correct now if you change the name to something else apart from class then it will consider this as a method and it will expect written type correct so that is the basic difference between method and constructor one point okay now <clears throat> these these points are clear right o overloading correct okay so now what i want to do i want to create a different class in the same file So this is a simple class, right? Mm -hmm. Just class and name and inside that nothing is there. This is also one class, correct? Correct. Inside that what I want to do, I want to create public add I want to take two number, two strings. <clears throat> S1, comma, S2, two strings, correct? Finally, what I want to do, I want to sum of the two strings. S equal to S1 plus S2, S2 correct? And I want to return it. Right. So this is a simple class, correct? correct? Class A and there is a one method, public written type is string and method name is add and two arguments and I'm adding the two strings, I'm returning it finally back. Correct. Correct? Okay, this functionality, <coughs> this is a simple class. Now what I want to do, so in, in our class, we have a method add, but all it will take input as an integer, correct? Correct. It will take input as integer, two, two integers, three integers, four integers. But we don't have a method which will do two strings sum, correct? Do we have that method? No. 
but there is another class which will do that functionality like adding two strings mm -hmm. so if at all if you want to call if you want to call this method what you have to do we have to create an object for this one right correct okay you have to create a object and you have to call add method okay how to do that one let me do that one so what if i work for all if you want to do add of the two methods add a a equal to new yeah so i created an object for that class correct right if at all if i want to call that a dot add i can plus here a b c here p q r Right. Now, what it will return? String, right? Hmm. Yes. Okay. A dot here. So, no, 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 no. I can put it here. I can paste it here. Then I can display here. Sys out. Yes. Sys out and. Sum of string color. Yes. Now, if I will display it, I can get the results as a A B C P Q R. See, it is adding some, right? Right. But what I am doing here, I am creating a class and I am I am accessing that method. Correct. Correct. This point is clear, right? I am creating a class for that class, and from that object. so i am creating an object and from that object i am adding i am calling the method i am getting the results i am printing it correct this is clear right correct okay <clears throat> this is a different class correct this is not part of your class correct your class is some sorry constructor demo but we are trying to call another class by creating an object and we are calling the method say for instance if you don't want to call you don't want to create this object then what you can do this is you can extend that features how to extend that features ext ends extends a okay so what is the purpose of this extends there is a some features are available in class a correct okay what you are doing we are extending that features into your class then right. what it will become all the features whatever is available under class a then it will become it will be part of your class yes. correct mm -hmm. so whenever you are doing extends right extends of any other class what it will become what it will do so the features whatever is available are means means members then that will be part of your class <coughs> okay so now what is the purpose of doing this thing now what our functionality or method add that will be part of your class also so if add method will be part of your class then you no need to create explicit constructor right i can comment out this one then i can use my own constructor correct i can use any one so let me use the default ce Did you see that now? And did I am creating an object for a class? No, nope. I am not creating. I am right. trying to access the add method. I am trying to <coughs> call the add method by using constructor object, constructor demo. Correct. Correct. Right. See, now let me run it. So I am getting the sum. Hmm. Yes. So how I am calling this method by use when I am doing extends. So all the members will be part of will become part of your class. Correct. Correct. Then you can able to access by using your own class object. This is this concept we used to call as a inheritance. We are inheriting the. like the live example i can give if you see your like uh, i mean uh, uh, a son 
father grandchild you will see some uh, i mean what is a features we are going to inherit right right if, if you see some of the father i mean father uh, i mean what is a genes <coughs> uh, will be will be part of son right sometime all right so this is called as inheritance we are inheritum we are trying to inherit some of the features from the father father correct. to child mother correct. to son or daughter correct this concept we used to call as inheritance all right so in that case is a is a father right yes correct a is a father and constructor demo is a child okay all right correct reverse is not possible Son, not maybe son will get some unique features correct 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 son we son may get some unique feature but father what our father is having some features if at all if you want to i mean uh, take to some other class then you have to do extends this is an example in real time called as a i mean son and father relationship okay but so, there should be some relationship then only you can able to get that features otherwise you are not able to get correct correct so it is like a moreover i am inheriting in class to class right yes yes this one is to call as a inheritance because in my automation script i write a lot of classes so now this is like i can write a one class so i can call it in a different class by yes in. yes yes correct so if Now, what our functionality you have written add two strings that n number of peoples they can extend your class and they can use your feature. So, okay, all right. So even the even the if I'm extending is multiple from the one let's say for example mm -hmm. class A, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm in a in a different classes. It's a class A has a feature, uh -huh. right? That can be reusable is uh, different classes. So yes. What I have to do in that case. case mm -hmm. i'm just going to create a class b and extend class a correct yes so that way i can all even the uh, one classes i can call is multiple classes yes so you can extend the feature in different different classes oh okay wherever you need all right this is called inheritance okay inheritance okay. so to get the features from getting the feature from so <clears throat> this and one more small point so this one yes this one we used to call as a super class and this one we can say sub class both are classes but super and sub this is a super class and this is a sub class like right. this is a father and this is a child right <laughs> makes sense okay whenever you are trying to you know what is the purpose of inheritance to get the features from super class it's kind of reusability yeah it's kind of i'm reusing the instead of creating creating a multiple classes i'm just reusing the code correct just create one time and people will extend your class and they will use your features right so this is called as a inheritance right okay now inheritance this point is clear right correct Okay, now go back to your class. Okay, let me. What I want to do? I want to create one more method in the same in the same class. So the uh, <clears throat> the method name I'm I'm trying to give you as a paint. I'm giving. color as input as a color okay this is a method name is paint and the input is some okay. string correct what i am doing here painting is in progress i am printing just i am printing one name called one variable called painting is in progress and written the same color so this is a method right correct written type is string and method name is paint and some input 
you are taking uh, some input and uh, let me print that uh, name also whatever we are getting as input so i'm printing the color you will give input as a color and it will say painting is in progress and the color name okay so this is a simple method right all right so now go back to your previous class <laughs> if you want to access that one how to access you have to call c dot paint correct and you have to give here yellow <clears throat> so we are calling the super class method by using our own class object correct correct okay now run it so you are getting painting is in progress and yellow correct mm -hmm. <clears throat> now what i will do that so whenever you are doing extends whenever you are doing extends you will get this method into your class also correct correct this will become part of your class also now copy the same method and go back to your your class just try to write same method so instead of painting is in progress what i am trying to do i am trying to create same method in my class also can i create i can write painting is done create, since it is in a different class so it is in a different class i can create right right people should not say i created already if you not right you can create your own class even i can create my own class so right. here i created same method name and i am taking same argument type as a in a in a string so i am telling here painting is done correct painting is done now if i call this method from my object which one will be executed we have we have get we are getting a method paint from this class also from this class correct now correct. paint method is there in two places <clears throat> Uh, okay which one will be called now let me run it and we will see the output which one is calling mm. our own class method okay why yes this is this concept we used to, we used to call as a method overriding okay. we are overriding super class feature okay we are so method, because of the same method i'm writing in the different classes that's why right yes correct one of the feature is getting from the father but son what is doing that particular feature he is overriding right he is overriding that feature but what is the purpose of writing that over yes the purpose of overriding is let's suppose i have written one class with my name and i had given the class to you okay in my class two features are there just as in two features are there or two methods are there okay. but you like only one feature and another feature you don't like right then what you will do you will override that feature in my class yes so whenever i'm going to call that is going <coughs> to call my one yes it will call your feature it will not call my feature okay in this case the two features are this these two so you like only this feature but you don't like this feature correct so you like add functionality but you don't like the paint functionality so then correct. what you did that paint functionality you were how you have overridden correct correct so you have overridden the paint paint functionality and you have you had given your own implementation so I, I mentioned that the my own one but if i have the same as the accurate one as that first one so i didn't change anything so does it gonna be create a problem oh, sorry can you please repeat again <coughs> okay so you uh, you give me a class right i two classes and i pick one of the classes from you mm -hmm. and i put it on my own class right uh -huh. Uh -huh. i did not change any single not a single line not a single line. okay okay but I'm I'm trying to print the same thing in my class, uh -huh. so it, it, this would be okay. It, it shouldn't be give a problem. It right? will not create any problem. Say, for instance, if you if you didn't overridden this one, 
just comment out this one okay. then which method will be called which paint will be called is going to call yours because that one is extended already yes i have extended but i have not overridden anything correct so then it will call super class paint method so it is okay. calling in progress so since it's not finding it on mine so that's why yes. it's going to yes work. obviously you are correct it's not finding in your class so it will look for the parent class method Ah, oh, okay. So, whenever, let's say, for example, whenever, is, it, is there any performance? No, no. The, yes, there is a performance issue that we will discuss it later slowly, one by one. So, the reason that I'm saying it, whenever is finding it, is, let's say I'm not going far to catch up that particular class, but I'm getting it in close. <coughs> yes, there is a performance up. issue that we will discuss slowly later, one by one. Okay. That All is right. general. Right. So this concept we used to call as inheritance and uh, and this particular method we used to call as overriding. A feature is overriding. If you don't like, we can override it. Okay. Okay, My tomorrow own. we will see I mean, uh, more examples of this inheritance and overriding. Okay. Yeah. And tomorrow you will be available? Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow is... Uh, Tomorrow, I will not be able. Tomorrow is Friday because. Yes, I'm yes, yeah. Correct, correct. Your order. Uh, Mustafa will join, I think. Yeah, fine. No problem. Mustafa will, might be. Mustafa able. will not join. He will join, but different time. No problem. Yeah, fine. Uh, okay. So, uh, what I'm thinking this week, I might not. Uh, um, Sunday, I will try. I will knock you. Right? No, fine, fine. No problem. Okay. I will try to catch you up before 7 30. I'm going to travel back from New York. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yes. So I will try to catch you up. If I cannot, I will also inform you. Yeah, sure, sure. Just drop your message itself, okay? All right, sure. Okay, Definitely. sure, fine. Yeah, thanks. And oh, can you forward me the note, please? So that yeah, sure, sure. Definitely, I will send as part of the video. I will include this note also. All right. Um, just a quick question. Um, are you putting this all video in your one after one after another link, or is it soon after another link? Oh, okay. So if I view one link, it's gonna go one by one, right? Oh, uh, it's not like that. <clears throat> if you see my YouTube cha I mean the link right, I created one specific folder for you. Inside that you will see all the I mean the links in in order. Oh okay. So it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. It will be there in like one, two, three, four. We had to click explicitly one by one. I had given for each concept name also. It's like a Java installation, basics, data types, method overloading, something okay. like that. It's in a okay, sequence okay. order. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. So, yeah, I was just kind of wondering. Okay, the sequence order. So, you sure. can click any one link and uh, you can take any one concept, whatever you need it. All right, no problem. All right, I will read. Okay. Thank you. No, friend, yeah, thanks. No problem. Yeah, okay. yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye.